Okay, so this is the new Mercury 4 that we're introducing at uh, Milwaukee Show. Um, we've gone for a compact machine, a uh, color touch screen, and this is the basic machine, and then this part is removable and is totally customizable for whatever the customer requires. We have uh, different uh, locking interfaces, such as this, and that we can use the machine in different ways. So I'm just going to demonstrate first a um, sort of basic way of operating. Uh, you've got the top unit with the uh, magnetically located tooling, and we have a control cabinet which is all the power supplies. That can be located underneath the machine or away from the machine. Um, so the idea of this is it can be used in a sit-in position with all your tools, raw material, finished goods around you, so you don't have to get up to use the machine. Um, the only other part is there is a fume extraction, uh, which is a small unit here, which again goes underneath the bench. Um, yeah, and that's to remove the, the poisonous fumes. That neutralizes it with a carbon filter and a HEPA filter. So to use the machine, it's very, very simple. Um, we take something like this. This is a fiberglass cable. Fiberglass is kind of tricky to strip. Um, you get lots of fraying and it blunts the blades of a machine. And what we have here on the fixture, we have this can be configured however we want to, but we've got a backstop. We've got here some apertures and the holes are there just, just so it guides the wire you know, roughly into the right size hole, just so it's not too loose. Press the button, and it strips from the bottom, strips from the top. Take it out, and there you have it. So, it's as quick as that. What's really nice about fiberglass is it actually seals the ends as well. So if we want to uh, run a different wire, let's say this twisted pair, this is a... Uh, this is a Teflon coated twisted pair, and we're going to strip that without even untwisting it. So what I do is I just click it onto the small aperture and just select the recipe that's been set for the, the twisted wire, pop it in, the backstop, press go, strips from the bottom, strips from the top, and there we have it. Untwist the wires, one, two, and we have a strip twisted pair. So we didn't even untwist it. So the beauty of a laser stripper is there's no nicks, no damage, so it's guaranteed quality every time. So the laser light is coming in, it's reflecting off that conductor, so it means you can never damage the wire. And that's the main reason for using a laser. If you've got an application where you're getting nicks or scrapes, or you're doing a lot of maintenance, a lot of blade changes. So this machine is very powerful. Not only can it just strip across the wire, we can also strip along it. So we take something like this, a twisted pair. It's difficult to strip mechanically. Click it over to the fourth position, put the wire in, and we'll see it actually strips across and down the cable. So that's creating a slit, which allows us to peel off the cable as easy as that. Now this machine is very powerful in the fact that the speed that it strips is 10 times faster than any machine on the market or any machine that we've done. And what that means is, even though this braid has uh, gaps in it, we're able to strip it and slit it without any uh, damage or discoloration of the inner conductors and that's purely because of the speed of the machine. Uh, another example, similar idea but with uh, a foil. Put it in and you see it stripped from the bottom, slipped from the top and it just peels off like that. So you might think well how do you actually control a machine? It must be complicated, it's lasers, but actually nothing can be further than the truth. It's a real simple machine so all we do, if we want to uh, look at or change a program, press load, let's look at this one, press edit, and then what we've got is, here is a picture of the cable. We've got here our strip length at 12 millimeters, and we've got the speed. The speed is the only laser parameter we need. Um, so if we go, um, we set the speed to go fast. If we go too fast and it doesn't pull off, then what do you know, we just slow it down until it strips through. If you go too slow, it doesn't matter, you're just wasting a little bit of time, but you can't damage the cable. And that's the key thing. Because the laser light reflects from the metal, you can't damage the cable. So if I want to change in the parameters there, that's done. The machine has a solid state PC inside it, and that means it can hold as many programs as you like, an infinite number. So again, this tooling at the front 
This is a convenient way of working with fairly stiff cables, but if you've got something more complex, maybe you have some kind of uh, uh, multi-conductor cable. In this case, we have some micro coax. Uh, so we have a way of locating it, fast change tooling, pop it in there, this goes in and also magnetically locates. So you've got the precision, the laser strips all the wires at once. So the machine is capable of stripping not only across the wire and along it, but also curves at different positions on different wires. It's a very flexible platform. Um, another example of that is using a tooling door. With this, uh, we can load, uh, say, thicker cables on a plate and the cables then come out the bottom, sit on the table. So it doesn't matter if you have large coils, you can still use this configuration. Okay, what about maintenance? The great thing about uh, laser wire stripping is there is no maintenance part. This machine's been designed to um, get inside it real quick, so you can give it a quick clean, clean inside. Um, this is the safety interlocks. If you don't have this on, it means the laser won't run, so I can, I can even put my hand inside, press go, and it says, okay, the guards are open, it won't let me run. So it's totally safe to use it in a shop floor, in this case an exhibition hall. Um, but going back to the maintenance, apart from wiping, um, the laser itself is a, an industrial laser. Uh, it lasts the life of the machine, so at least 8 to 10 years before you have to regas it. This laser is made by Coherent, the biggest laser manufacturer in the world. What's really important about this laser, this industrial laser, is its wavelength. It's a CO2 laser, and what that means, it can uh, strip every single insulation out there in the market. It doesn't matter what the color, it doesn't matter what the composition. You do get other machines out there with, say, diode lasers uh, that come out of uh, Blu-ray players. They're nice and compact, but the problem is if you've got, say, a clear insulation or a blue insulation, it doesn't strip every single wire. And also the power. This uh, machine packs a big punch. You've got 20, 30, 40 watts in a standard version and up to 70 watts in an extended version. And what that means is you can cut through those real uh, tough uh, cable types like fiberglass uh, with ease where a low power laser just wouldn't make any impact on it. Okay, so the machine can also be used with a cut strip. Um, you pass the wire this way through, you supply it with a special uh, fixture. As you have your spool of wire, the laser stripper, and then a cut strip machine. And using the hot stamp interface from the cut strip machine, we're able to laser strip and cut. So say you have a batch of a few thousand pieces, you can set it running automatically. So in summary, we've got ourselves uh, a very compact uh, machine, no maintenance. The laser stripping process means it's uh, totally nick-free, guaranteed quality every time, high precision.